faces an energy challenge. How do we meet growing demand for electricity and heat in a way that is low carbon, affordable and reliable? Buildings account for about 40% of the world's carbon emissions. In the UK, they consume about 40% of all the energy produced. To solve the energy crisis, we need radical change in building design. Imagine if buildings could produce and store enough renewable energy to meet their own needs or more. Specific Innovation and Knowledge Centre at Swansea University is developing technologies that capture heat and electricity from the sun and store it in a building until it is needed. Specific staff develop technology from the lab to full building scale. They've designed two demonstration buildings to show how technologies can be integrated into a building to generate, store and release heat and electricity in one system. In its first year, the active classroom generated one and a half times the energy it used. The excess goes to charge electric vehicles or to the local electricity network. To make a difference, we need many buildings like this. That's not only a technical challenge, but a political, social and economic one. The Active Building Centre will provide the evidence that regulators, policy makers and the construction industry need to transform construction in the UK. The new centre will support active building developments, analysing data from the people who live and work in them and their energy performance when connected with each other, with electric vehicles and the grid. This is a great opportunity for the UK, so imagine you're in a place where there is plenty of sunshine and no grid connection. Sunrise unites universities and industry from the UK and India. The project will work with local communities to build at least five demonstration buildings in rural India. It will develop efficient, low-cost solar technologies and lasting relationships that help both countries to promote low-carbon buildings. Together, Specific, the Active Building Centre, Sunrise and their partners are working to demonstrate how buildings can be designed differently at scale to reduce carbon emissions and to support change for the next generation.